Hi, I'm Rob. In today's video, I'm going to be covering what dividends are and how they work. Most people understand that a dividend is a distribution of profits by a corporation to its shareholders. If a company has a yearly net income of 100 million, it might pay out 50 million of this as dividends. This would be a 50% payout ratio. Companies pay a dividend throughout a year. Some are twice a year and some are four times a year or even monthly. There are two key dates to consider when buying a dividend paying stock. The dividend X date is the date you need to own the stock to receive the dividend. You can't buy on the X date and therefore you need to own before the close on the day before the X date. Secondly is the payment date, which is when you receive the cash of the dividends. This is usually one to two months after the X date. Importantly, you can sell after the X date and before the payment date and you will still receive the dividend. If a company with a share price of 100p pays a dividend of 2p, its theoretical value of the stock drops to 98p. If the shares then open on the following day after the X date, are higher than 98p, let's say 99p, this is considered a 3p gain, with 1p in the share price and 2p paid out as dividends. Websites like Yahoo Finance will list a company's share price minus the dividend on its X date. So percentage increases and decreases show the true value. The main takeaway from this is buying a dividend paying stock and selling it immediately after the X dividend date to receive the dividend is very unlikely to be profitable. Company stock price often drop more than the value of the dividend payment on the X date as the demand also drops. So how can dividends affect a company's value and therefore share price? Let's say we have four companies, all have free cash flow of £100 million a year. Company one, the blue line, keeps all of its profits as cash. It doesn't invest the cash or do anything with it. Naturally, the value of the company will increase £100 million a year as its cash holding increases. The other companies pay out a certain percentage of its profits as dividends to shareholders, and it does this twice a year. As the companies pay out, it loses value as it no longer is holding this cash. Of course, this is a very simplified and the share price of the company would vary hugely from its fundamental value and its cash holdings. But I think it helps show that companies with high dividend payments will most likely have poorer performance in their share price as they are investing less of the cash. Now let's look at why companies' share price isn't everything. Here is the company uh, UK Wind um, by Greencoat. Um, which I have made a stock analysis video on before. Over the past five years, its growth looks quite mediocre in its share price. But when you add in the dividend payments on top of its share price, it shows a much better performance for shareholders. GSK has performed poorly over the past five years, regardless of, a div of its dividends payments. But shareholders' return is still positive when dividends are included compared to a negative return when considering just the share price. More on how the share price graph alone can be misleading. Looking at Tesco's share price graph over the past year, looks like they've had an awful year, when in fact they've had a fairly normal year with shareholder return hovering around 4% for the past year. The massive share price drop in February is due to them paying out a 50.93p dividend. This dividend payment cost them just under £5 billion. This came from them selling their Thai and Malaysian branches of the company for £7.8 billion. As mentioned earlier, Yahoo Finance would have listed Tesco's opening price as 244p on its X date. So unlike a lot of websites, it wouldn't have shown a 50p loss in the company's stock price. If people aren't aware of the X date for companies that they own, they might think they've just suffered a big loss, but in fact will get the dividend payment in a month or two to make up for the share price loss. A lot of new investors will look at past performance of companies' share price and then maybe the current dividend yield, yield. but you need to do much more research to get a ben better understanding of past performance. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be doing some more of these shorter style videos in the coming weeks, so please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Also, remember to get your free stock using my referral link in the descriptions. Thank you.